Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we will be doing a little comparison between the Magic Eraser on the Google Pixel 6 Pro versus Samsung's Object Eraser and for this example we'll be using the Galaxy Z Fold 3 which really any other flagship Samsung Galaxy device has the exact same features as long as they are updated to the latest updates for the gallery. So we will be playing with a bunch of different photos here just to kind of give you different situations and instances and we're going to see which one does a better job at actually removing and getting rid of any of these objects. So this is a pretty good example here because there's a little bit of texture with the carpet. Also a little bit of shadows just to see what would happen with that photo. Here's a pretty good image, not too much shadows going on, but we're going to delete a few of these objects sitting there, see which one is easier to do, which one does a better job. Same thing with this photo here. I'm just going to see if I am able to get rid of any of these Legos and also to play around that chair in the background because in the background back here, there's a lot of texture going on with that little fence. And so usually if you have something like that, then you're going to see a lot of cloudiness, a lot of kind of putty feeling you know looking type texture in between all of those little grooves uh, and then we're going to go into this photo right up over here where either we can delete the person who photobombed we can also delete the fire hydrant and actually what i did before this video is i went through and i took out the street sign which is one of those cool things you can do so then this way it's for privacy reasons you know get rid of the street signs that you live on or maybe the house street that you live on or maybe blemishes on the face things like that there's a lot of you know, reasons and really cool things you can do with this magic eraser, object eraser, especially for people like me who don't have expensive programs on the computer that, you know, you would go into and edit with a whole bunch of different things and, and Photoshop, stuff like that. I don't really have time for that. Uh, so we're going to do it right here on the phone, which is one of those things that I love that it's built into the softwares right here of both of these devices. So how you're able to go inside of the magic eraser or object eraser, what you want to do on the Google Pixel 6 Pro is you want to go inside of edit then inside of here you're going to move over into tools and then you have magic eraser now on the samsung phone you want to hit on the edit button and then here's your object removal icon right there and then now you just simply go through and you can delete now on the google pixel 6 pro there's two ways you can do it you have to either draw a circle around the object or you can brush over it to erase this one is actually a simple tap to take it off so you simply will tap on that little lego and you can hit on erase. Now you'll notice a little bit of kind of fill in. It's a little cloudy, a little kind of like a putty type of feeling that will go inside of there just because there is texture. So that's what it looks like here if you were to do it on carpet. Now let's say that we go over inside of the Pixel 6 Pro. Now for this one, I'm just gonna draw a circle around it first then we can see what it looks like and then there it goes it erased it now if you moved on back again the other way you can do it is by brushing it all off and so it you know if you zoom in even more then you can then you can get even more accurate with it so if there's even a little bit more blemish that is sitting there you can go over it one more time maybe just see if you can get it just a little bit better and then just to do one more lego we're going to move right up over here just because there is a lot of shadow happening so what we're going to do is we're going to tap on that one hit on erase so this one seems to be very quick very easy i don't know oh there we go we can actually go with that little shadow piece there get rid of that one so here we go oh yeah you have to go around you want to circle it and so now we're going to hit on done and then this one we're also going to hit on check mark and so now that both of these have been finished i just have to go to save copy same thing up over here i just have to hit on save and so now this is going to be the end result of the photo that we just got done doing so let me know which one of these did a better job obviously if you are to scroll in a little bit you will actually see it on both of them so here's that little area that it was taken off there uh, and then a little area taken off there so let me know in the comment section below which one of these two did a better job at doing erasing of the object Now we're gonna head over to this one. I'm gonna go through, see if I can delete this little, uh, you know, uh, gum or candy. I'm also gonna try to get rid of that welcome sign as well. So again, hit on that little edit button, head over inside of tools, magic eraser. Over here, edit, object uh, eraser. Now we're gonna tap on that object there, hit on remove. So that one actually comes off very simple, very easy, and it looks really good because there's not too many textures there. Now I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that sign, see how easy it is. Uh, we're able to get rid of that one. How about maybe this little pumpkin right here? <laughs> get rid of that one. I mean, it it does a really good job. And, and honestly, when you take a look at this thing, you would have no idea 
that anything was sitting there. So that one did a really good job. So now we're gonna have to move in here and we're gonna have to fine tune it. So we're gonna see if we can, you know, just erase that one little piece. So it kind of took that little area off of there. Let's see if we can get it a little bit better. Okay, so that is okay. So how about we go in a little bit closer and how about we just try to draw on this one, try to see if we can make it a little bit more accurate and just how fine tuned you can really get inside of there. So there we go. I think that's probably the best one we, we've done with that one. So now, so now we're gonna move over into this welcome sign here. So let's give it a circle. See how well this one does here. Uh, that one took, took it off pretty well, but there's a little bit more of a shadow that's happening. Again, you can actually go inside of here and you can really fine tune this as much as you can. So maybe I can even zoom in a little bit closer. But again, I'm also still looking for ease of use as well. I do know that there's a little bit more layers of the blemishes and a little bit more layers you're able to take off with the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, now, how about we go through and we try to delete this little pumpkin right there. So you can see how much longer of a time it took for me to do it on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. It's a really good camera. It has really good software built in. But for this photo in particular, I think Samsung comes off as the winner here just because it looks more clean. It looks a little bit better as if obviously nothing was taken from the Samsung image. And then the amount of time it took for me to do it on the Google Pixel 6 Pro just seems to be almost two or three times longer. Uh, but here we go. We're just going to hit on done hit on check marks, so this one is done. Uh, you can hit on save. This one over here, we're gonna hit on save copy. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, or comparisons versus the pixels and the Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now let's head over inside of, you know what, we've done a lot of objects. How about we head over into people? So with this one, we're gonna go to the edit button, object removal, we're gonna tap right there, hit on erase, and we're gonna see how this one has done. So if we zoom on in, it looks like there's a little bit sitting there. It looks like we can also get rid of that one. Now the license plate over there got kind of extended out, but you know what? It doesn't look that bad from here and it doesn't look like there was really anybody standing there, just a little bit of a, maybe a dirt patch or something sitting there. And then now moving over to the Google Pixel 6 Pro, let's go inside of edit. Uh, let's go inside of the tools, magic eraser, and actually even inside of suggestions, the magic eraser is sitting right there. But if it's not sitting there, it's inside of tools. So magic eraser. Now this one comes up with a suggestion found. You don't have to do the suggestion, uh, but let's just go through and let's just hit on erase all. So there is just a little bit left to go on right here. So we're going to delete this right here. And again, you are able to swipe it with your fingers. So you can see that it's done that little piece to it over into the grass. Let's see if I can do it without messing up the grass since there is a lot of texture there. So let's just try to get rid of these two feet standing right there. And so now they're pretty comparable when it comes down to it. So there's a little bit of the crack gone. There's just a little bit of kind of like a puttiness kind of looking. Uh, when you take a look back up over here, we're trying to see how clean and clear this looks. So they're both pretty accurate when it, in terms of just a little bit of something that is going on there. So now inside of uh, the Google Pixel 6 Pro, let's head over and let's try to do this, uh, this fire hydrant. So with the fire hydrant, we're gonna go over, we're gonna try to erase it. For the Samsung, uh, you just have to simply tap on it, erase, and it's done. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the Samsung one does it very, very, very quickly. Uh, and so this one also did it fairly easily with the little circle and everything is looking pretty good. We took out a fire hydrant, we took off a person, and there was also even a street sign back there that we also took off as well. So again, let me know which one you think did a better job. So we're gonna go again inside of the uh, edit button, magic eraser. Let's see if we can just get rid of one of these colors. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And obviously, you know, there's a little bit of chair back there, but it doesn't really know exactly what to do. Again, that's why it's really hard to do it with a bunch of textures and everything all around. Uh, so now let's go through and let's see if we can get rid of this chair as well. Um, so I don't know, let's see, let's try that one. We're gonna try this one. So it's looking like it's picking it up in pieces. And so that's really going to leave a lot of stuff over there in the background of, you know, kind of like all the fill in of what to do with the fence. Now we're going to play around with the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Um, and honestly, that one was pretty easy to do on the Samsung phone. And so now I'm pretty curious on this one. So we got rid of the yellow color. 
So let's go through with this yellow color. So it took away most of it. Um, now I'm gonna see what would happen if I was to give it a circle. Now granted, more than likely, you're not gonna do something like this, um, but it's one of those things to kind of play around with and, and it's just here for testing. Now I'd have to say on the Google Pixel 6 Pro, it did a pretty good job with filling in the leg uh, beforehand. It didn't really do a good job at filling in the leg uh, for, the, for the chair that was over there in the background. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go through here, try to delete this little chair. And we're going to see how it looks and it did an okay job there's still a lot of stuff that's happening like right here like this still looks like a chair that could have been back there again getting rid of that one and so this is what we've ended up with here so let me know which one you think is better on the samsung galaxy z fold 3 which one's better on the google pixel 6 pro in terms of this image here or we can just go through and you can let me know what you think is better with all of the images that you have seen So basically, if we were to go through some of these images one more time, let's say that we take a look at this picture. So this is where it started, this is where it ended. Uh, you can still see a little bit of blemishes sitting there, a little bit sitting right up over here. This one I think was pretty average or pretty much almost the exact same. When it came to this one, I remember for a fact that the Samsung one was way easier. And I do think that the Samsung one looks a little bit more clean and a little bit more clear, even though I would have to say the colors is more accurate on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. But really, we're not doing a camera comparison. It's really mostly, you know, going up against the object removal, things like that. So here's this ending one. Which one do you think did better? And then over here for the person, which one do you think did a better job? Now, personally for me, I kind of go with both of these devices just because I think the Samsung one is super easy, really fast, a simple tap and it's gone. But I think it's a little bit more detailed when it came over into the Google Pixel 6 Pro, even though it took more time. But if you're there and you're trying to erase somebody, you're trying to get rid of something in an image, you would probably like to devote a little bit more time just to make it a little bit better. So I think in terms of the winner of this one, if you're looking for ease of use, Samsung definitely won and it does a really good job. You can barely tell that anything was there ever in any of these images. Um, but when it comes down into which one can probably do it first, um, or I should say do it a little bit better, then we're gonna probably you know take a look over at the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Um, but let me know in the comment section below which one you think did a better job. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh.